Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sarkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here, in this session, I will be going to discuss about parallel decomposition technique. This is state space analysis control systems or state variable modeling from transfer function. State variable modeling from transfer function means transfer function to state equation, state diagram, and stability analysis. This is lecture series on state space analysis and lecture number 19. So parallel decomposition technique. A linear time invariant system is described by the transfer function of the form ys by u of s equals to v0 s to the power n plus v1 s to the power n minus 1 plus v2 s to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus bn minus 2 s square plus bn minus 1 s to the power 1 plus bn divided by s to the power n plus a1 s to the power n minus 1 plus a2 s to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 a n minus 1 s to the power 1 plus a n. This is the general transfer function where numerator power and denominator power equal. And in this case, actually m equals to n. Generally, m means numerator power, n means denominator power, m less than or equals to n. So also numerator is also called zeros and denominator is called poles. Let the above equation is written as ys by us equals to b0 plus d1 by s plus lambda 2 plus lambda 1 plus d2 by s plus lambda 2 plus d3 by s plus lambda 3 plus d4 by s plus lambda 4 plus dot 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 dn by s plus lambda n where lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, lambda 4, dot, 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 lambda n are called eigenvalues or roots of the characteristics equation. Eigenvalues or roots of the characteristics equation. Then multiplying both sides by us and we get y of s equals to b0 us. Multiplying both sides. So B0 into US plus D1 into US by S plus lambda 1 and D2 into US by S plus lambda 2 plus D3 into US by S plus lambda 3 plus dot 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 plus Dn into US by S plus lambda N. This is the, then also Y of S equals to what? Y of S equals to B0 into U of S plus Z1S into D1, Z2S into D2, plus Z3S into D3, plus dot 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 ZNS into DN. Where Z1S equals to what? Z1S equals to one US by S plus lambda one. That means US, this is the numerator terms, and S plus lambda one. This is the Z1S. And US by S plus lambda two equals to Z2S, US by S plus lambda three S, lambda three equals to Z3S, plus dot 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 plus us by s plus lambda n equals to zns. So z2s equals to us by s plus lambda 2, z3s equals to us by s plus lambda 3, and z of n minus 1 is equals to us by s plus lambda n minus 1, and zns equals to us by s plus lambda n. Then case number 1. What is the case 1? us by s plus lambda 1. And cross multiply. S into Z1S, lambda 1 into Z1S equals to U of S. Taking inverse Laplace transform, and then we get, this is the first order differential equation, DZ1T by DT plus lambda 1 into Z1T equals to U of T, where U of T equals to system input, and Z1T equals to system output, and this is the position of the system output. And also, dz1t by dt equals to rate of change of position. That means this is variable and put z1t equals to x1 state variable and this is the z1t equals to x1 state variable. Differentiate both sides and we get z1t, z1 dot t equals to 
equals to dz1t by dt equals to x1 dot or x1 dot, this is the x1 dot. This is the dz1t by dt equals to x1 dot plus lambda 1t x1 equals to ut. So x1 t equals to minus lambda 1 x1 plus u of t. This is the state equation form because left hand side derivative term, terms and free of derivative terms right hand side. So x1 dot equals to minus lambda 1 x1 plus u of t. Similar case number two z2s equals to 1 by s plus lambda 2 into u of s. Again cross multiplied and x2 dot equals to minus lambda 2x2 plus u of t. And z3s equals to 1 by s plus lambda 3 into u s. Then again cross multiply and x3 dot equals to minus lambda 3 x3 plus u of t. Similarly, Zn minus 1 s equals to 1 by s plus n minus 1 into us where xn minus 1 dot equals to minus lambda n minus 1 minus lambda n minus 1 x of n minus 1 plus u of t. And finally, z of ns equals to us by s plus lambda n and cross multiplying and we get xn dot equals to minus lambda n xn plus u of t. These all are state equation because left hand side derivative term and p of derivative terms right hand side. For x1 dot here minus lambda 1 x1 others value 0. x2 dot minus lambda 2 and x2 and others value 0 without ut. And x3 dot equals to minus only lambda 3 x3. Similarly xn dot equals to only minus lambda n. So these are all state equations and the state matrix we can write x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot, xn minus 1 dot, xn dot. This is the left hand side and right hand side on first equation for first equation x1 dot only minus lambda 1 and others value 0. So minus lambda 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And second equation x2 dot and u of t, u of t, 1 into u of t x2 dot equals to only x2 into minus lambda 2. So minus lambda 2 and others value 0. Similarly, x3 dot equals to only minus x3 into lambda 3. So this is minus lambda 3. Similarly, lambda 4. Similarly, lambda n minus 1, lambda n. This is the diagonal matrix. And these all are roots of the characteristics equation, or eigenvalues of the characteristic equation. This is the parallel decomposition matrix form and output 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 equal into u of t. This is the controllable system. If all the elements are 1, then B matrix controllable. So this equation equivalent to actually x dot equals to x plus b u. This is equivalent to x dot equals to b x and x dot equals to this value a equals to this x equals to this b equals to this x dot equals to x plus b into u. Next, then the output y of s equals to b0 into u s plus z1 s into d1, z2 s into d2, z3 s into d3 plus zn s into dn. Then taking inverse Laplace transform and we get left hand side u of y of t. This is the output y of t. This is b0 into u of t plus x1 into d1 plus x2 into d2 plus x3 into d3 plus xn into dn. So this is the final output in matrix form. This is the d1, d2, d3, d4 dot 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 dn minus 1 dn and x1, x2, x3, xn minus 1 xn plus b0 into u of t. This is equivalent to y equals to cx plus du, where yt equals to yt, c, c equals to this matrix d1, d2, d3, dot, 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 dn, and this is the x matrix, and d equals to b0, and u equals to u. So x dot equals to x plus b u, and yt equals to y equals to cx plus du, where c equals to this matrix, and x equals to this matrix, D equals to B0, U equals to U. 
So A matrix, B matrix, C matrix. This is a special type. This matrix, controllable matrix. If any one terms absence in C matrix, this is unobservable. This is a very important sentence or very important point. D1, D2, D3, dot, 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 Dn. If any value absent, then this is unobservable. And this is the D, then D equals to B0. So this is the multi-input, multi-output system, MIMO system. And what is the state diagram? This is the state diagram. Draw the state diagram. From first equation, x1 dot plus lambda 1, x1 equals to u of t. That means x1 dot equals to minus lambda 1, x1 plus u of t. So this is x1 dot, x1 dot integrate, x1. So x1 into lambda 1 minus, so minus lambda 1 into x1 plus u of t. This is the ut. So first equation complete. Second equation, x2 dot equals to minus lambda 2 x2. This is the x2 dot, x2 dot integrate, then x2. x2 into lambda 2 into minus. So minus lambda 2 into x2. This is the minus lambda 2 into x2 plus u of t. Similarly, dot, dot, dot. xn dot integrate, xn minus 1 dot equals to xn, then xn into lambda n minus lambda n plus u of t. And what is the output? Output equals to b0 plus u of t. This is the b0, this is the u of t. So b0 plus u of t. x1 into d1. This is the x1 output, this is d1, this is the x1 plus d1. And this is the d2 into x2. This is the output x2 dot integrate x2. Then x2 into d2. This is the a, another output. And finally, xn into dn. This is the dn and this xn dot integrate xn. So xn into dn. So y of t equals to b0 into u of t, x1 into d1 plus x2 into d2 plus xn into dn. So this is the parallel decomposition state diagram. Thank you.